So over here, you can see that I got some fonts on my Webpack document. If I were to go around and select out the top title and press Ctrl C, then it gets copied around. I can go around, press Enter and press Ctrl V, and you can see that the exact font gets pasted. I can also do the same with the paragraph, press Ctrl C, go around over here, press Enter, press Ctrl V, and then the exact formatting gets pasted. But the way of pasting out uh, things in WordPad uh, has options. So let's say, for example, if I want to paste it, it in another way. So I'm going to uh, press Ctrl C by selecting this out so it copies the font title and the paragraph. So now over here, I'm going to go around into the paste section. And then if I were to click on this little arrow, you can see that I can access an option called Paste Special. The shortcut key as it appears to be is Alt, Control, and V as you can see right there. So if I were to click on Paste Special, then what happens is that you have the Paste Special option which pops up. So now what I'm going to do is, let's say I want to paste this as a WordPad document. So I'm going to go around and press OK. And now this is a separate WordPad document. So if I were to double click on this, another WordPad uh, window opens up. I can go around and then I can save this right here so I can update the document. And what happens is that it gets updated right here. And since this is brought in as an image, you can go around and then work around with this. So let's say, for example, uh, I want to work with this. So I actually converted this already into a text. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to paste special. Uh, bring it out as WordPad. So now what I can do is I can resize this as you can see right here and I can double click to format this even further and over here you can see that you can update the document and even save this uh, word, word, uh, WordPad document as a separate file if you wish. So you can simply go to file and save that out. So let me just leave this out and use other pasting options. So if I were to go over here and go to Paste special, then you can see I can paste this as picture as well. So if I were to press OK, now you cannot double click. This is simply pasted out as picture. So you can resize this, you can squeeze this out, and so forth. I can also click this and delete this out as well. I can go around over here on to paste and go to paste special. And over here, you can also paste this as a rich text format. So you have colors or any formatting, then it'll get pasted out like that. Or you can also go around and paste this as an unformatted text and press OK. So once you do that, what happens is that it takes the uh, formatting and then pastes it, uh, it's, uh, it out right there. So I'm going to select all of this right here and I'm going to cut this. And let's say I'm going to paste it right here. I'm going to go around right here. Uh, let me just undo that out. I'm going to go around right here, paste special, unformatted text, OK. And now you can see that this is what is paste it right there. So now you can go over here and paste this out with other option as well. So I'm going to go around on to paste special. Let me just go around and click on display as icon and press OK. Now you can see that you actually have an icon. So if you were to double click on it, then the file is there. So the file is stored within a file when you use this option. So that is how you can go around and work with it. So in other option, you don't see that you have display as icon, as you can see right there, but you have this option right here. And that is how you can use the paste special option to paste um, content in different ways. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.